Doc, can you give any kind of update on Russell Gage's status at this point? They took him to the hospital right now. He has a concussion. They'll also test him for potential neck injuries. Do you know if he has movement in his extremities? His fingers were moving when he was down there. I don't know about the rest. How much credit to the Cowboys tonight, uh, Todd, and how much was it uh, on, on your shoulders of your team? Big credit to them. They executed both sides of the ball. I think they were great in the red zone, scoring and defending in the red zone. I thought Dak got the ball out, found some places. I thought we made our own blunders well enough to help them along, but, you know, they deserve all the credit. It seems like there were specific issues covering tight ends tonight. What kind of things were they doing with their tight ends that were kind of throwing the secondary off? There were specific injuries doing a lot of things tonight. It wasn't just covering tight ends. Uh, just misdirection. Uh, we just busted a few things. We missed us some tackles, and we didn't play well defensively. Todd, how surprising was Tom Brady's uh, end zone interception that not happened since he's been a Buccaneer throwing interception in the red zone? I don't know if it's surprising. You don't want it to happen. Right? You know, every now and then you're going to throw interceptions. Again, they're a great red zone defense. We didn't score when we were down there. Uh, they denied us. Obviously, turning over the ball doesn't help any. So, you know, it didn't it didn't help the matter. Todd, the, the coverage bust, the miscommunication in the secondary. How how troublesome is that? Knowing you had pretty much everybody out there at your disposal. It was troublesome because they were day one installs, and we got to execute better. Tom threw the ball 66 times. Obviously, it's not what you want out of your quarterback, but uh, what, what took away the running game? Well, they did some stunts and took it away early. They jumped out to a league, obviously. It wasn't a big enough lead for us to stop running, but we had some plays that we tried to get to, and they stunned it. They did a good job up front game planning us. Were they doing anything special in the red zone that made the offense struggle so much? No, they were great in the red zone all year. You know, They were great in the red zone all year. It's been tough to score on them, and you know we had a tough time scoring on them. Todd, how are you going to look back on this year? What are the thoughts as you walk off the field there? Obviously not good enough because it's not where we want to be. You know, we fell short two years in a row. You like the courage, you like the fight, but we got to get better in a lot of areas, and, you know, we'll get to work on that. Tom's got some decisions <coughs> to make as far as what's next for him. Um, I'm, I'm sure he'll want to hear kind of what you guys' plans are for next year. What would be your pitch then for him to stay? Well, man, we'll sit down and have a conversation, and we'll talk about it at that time. So, you know, it's not anything publicly that needs to be said at this time. Coach, can you talk about how long you're expecting Ryan Jensen to play tonight and maybe go back into the past week of how he practiced and what he really knew at the time? He had a good week of practice. Ryan's a warrior. He, he's had two good weeks of practice. I didn't know if he's going to stay the whole game or not, but he was juiced up to come out here and play. He was hyped up to come out and play. You know, we appreciate his courage, his energy, and his effort. Cut to the decision to go with Murphy Bunting in corner opposite Carlton instead of Jamel. Was that a function of, of Jamel still being hurt with the toe, or what went into that? Well, he had just gotten better. He had been sick after that, and Sean has been playing well. You know, it was a gut thing. When Sean is healthy, they're nip and tuck anyway. Uh, you go with the hot hand. Sean was playing well, so we left Sean in there. You said those the, the breakdowns in the secondary were, were day one installs. What do you attribute those gaffes to? It's concentration. Just concentration. You got to play in the moment. You know, you got to play in the moment. <coughs> defense open. Defense open with two, three and outs. Vita Vega got a big sack here, but then there wasn't a lot of consistent pressure on Dak. How, how much has that been a problem, uh, really, since Shaq's been out? Well, he got out running. We let him out the pocket twice. He had them two runs for 15 yards apiece, and the pressure with Shaq being out, they got in third and manageable too many times, you know. And there wasn't really a lot of third downs to get him in third and long that way. Like I said, the two ones he did, he got out of it, but. They, they completed some on third down that helped them when they got us in the red zone. Todd, obviously you said this, you've come up short twice now in the playoffs. Uh, does this team need a, a rebuild at this time, or is it just a reload next year? You never rebuild. You always reload. You know, you feel you got a chance to win every year. We just got to tweak some things from a schematic standpoint all, all the way around, offense, defense, and special teams. And obviously, no one ever comes back with every player on the team. So we'll have some new faces in here. That's just part of the game. What would you learn about this team this, this year? We're tough. You know, we're tough. We, we keep incurring a lot of injuries the last two years. But the guys that can play fight their butts off for you. They fight their tails off. We're tough and we're resilient. 
we got to play smarter. And, you know, it's hard when you don't practice from an injury standpoint to come out there and play. You miss the nuances of the ball game. But, you know, everybody deals with that. So we just got to get better. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.